This is the Piper Malibu Matrix, one of the most innovative ideas to come down the pike in a good long time. It's a cabin-class six-seat airplane with an enviable, useful load, a modern flat-panel avionics package, optional flight into a known icing capability, arguably competitive, if not equal speed, when compared to Cessna and Cirrus competitors, and a ton of ramp appeal. When Piper announced that it was going to produce an unpressurized, roughly $750,000 version of its Mirage six-place pressurized piston single, the reaction from the media was, well, downright tepid. At face value, it seemed as though Piper was merely trying to lower the price point of its million-dollar-plus cabin-class pressurized offering while still keeping the Mirage a viable product. And worst of all, it was doing it simply by subtracting some value from it in the form of pressurization. After all, the critics asked how much it would cost to put the pressurization system in an airframe already built to be pressurized. The whole matrix exercise seemed like a cynical marketing ploy designed to drum up a few more PA-46 sales. Nothing more. One aviation publication even referred to it as a deflated mirage and asked, does the world really need an unpressurized mirage? Since that time, the critics turned out to be dead wrong. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Piper Malibu Matrix. Climbing in, you know you're in a serious airplane. The air stair, essentially the same as on the Mirage, is a gem. Solid, easy to open and close, and plenty big enough to allow easy loading of passengers and bags. The bags are loaded through the cabin. There's no external door, though there is a huge front baggage compartment with two access doors, one on either side of the airplane. In the cabin, there's a little less structure as the emergency oxygen system needed in the pressurized airplanes is gone. So there's a new space between the rear facing and pilots, co-pilots seats to toss charts or bags or jackets. There seem to be a lot of misconceptions about just what the Piper Matrix is and what it isn't. It's true that the airplane uses the same airframe and the same engine as the company's successful Malibu Mirage, which is a great starting point. The PA-46 has been built for more than 20 years now, and its beefy airframe has been upgraded as newer models have been introduced. By far the biggest story is the cabin, and this is truly a cabin-class airplane with a comfy club seating passenger section removed from the flight deck. The cabin is the same size that it has been since the PA-46 series was launched with the introduction of the Malibu in the 1980s, but as soon as you settle into the left seat of the Matrix, you feel like you're in a much bigger airplane. In fact, you'll feel like you've just stepped into a newly designed light jet. By any measure, the cabin is an impressively comfy enclosure, offering plentiful creature comforts, depending, of course, on the size of your creatures. At 50 inches or 1.25 meters across by 47 inches or 1.18 meters tall, the cabin maintains the same dimension from front office to rear seats, Boeing style, so everyone enjoys the ride. This was part of designer Jim Griswold's philosophy on the original Malibu. Produce a consistent fuselage to the rear of the cabin, then attach the tail without transitioning through an extended impenage that would add weight and wetted area. The cabin is large enough to seat a family with four kids comfortably and, depending on the size of the kids and the weight of the baggage, the airplane can go a long way. While there isn't a potty, there is a relief tube. While not quite a biz jet level of comfort, the cabin comes close, offering easy seating for four. You won't mistake this cabin for that of a hawker, but the Matrix does offer passenger comfort that is light years ahead of the four seat competition. The luxury level is much better than a Saratoga, a 206, or even a Baron. The pressurization controls are gone, that, at least according to Piper, saves them a lot of money. And it cuts some weight too, because the cabin isn't a pressure vessel any longer. Piper saves some money and weight on sealing the cabin. Also, the lack of pressurization allowed Piper to install much less expensive windows, saving both weight, some, and money a lot. Also, there's not as much glass in the matrix because the airframe was designed for pressurization. Now let's just step into the cockpit. Up front, you're reminded once again that you're in a different class of airplane. There's plenty of room, and the one space-related complaint you hear, that the headroom for very tall pilots is somewhat limited, 
has been addressed by Piper with the use of lower profile, high density foam seat cushions. The layout of the panel is elegant and clean. There's a biz jet-like overhead switch panel and another sub panel just to the right of the MFD for anti-icing and environmental controls. Other than the overhead panel, which will take a few flights to get used to, pilots of four-seaters should have no trouble transitioning to the Avidyne panel in the Matrix. What you lose, or gain, depending upon your point of view, in the step down from Mirage to Matrix is 200 pieces of airplane that subtract about 150 pounds or 70 kilograms from empty weight. That's a more significant advantage than you might think. Airplanes, like people, tend to gain pounds with age, and empty weight reduction has always been one of the most difficult tasks in aircraft manufacturing. Piper accomplished it in spades with the Matrix. Excluding the accoutrements necessary to seal a pressure vessel eliminates the beef up associated with an inflated cabin. It also allows for a slightly cleaner, less complicated panel as the pressurization controls go away, a major cost savings, according to Piper. The Matrix removes the emergency oxygen system between the front cockpit and the second row of seats, freeing up storage space behind the front office. The company also installs thinner plexiglass more appropriate to an unpressurized airplane. It's lighter, but apparently no less stout. The savings translate to nearly one additional person in the airplane, something the Mirage always needed. Specifically, the useful load increases from 1,236 pounds or 560 kilograms on the Mirage to 1,389 pounds or 630 kilograms on the Matrix, while the max takeoff weight of both airplanes remains at 4,340 pounds or 1,970 kilograms. The last big savings were earned with the installation of a scaled down but still impressive avionics package. Standard avionics on the Matrix is the talented Avidine Integra, a two-screen integrated flight deck which features a pair of Avidine 10.4-inch flat panel displays. The Mirage has three displays, a pair of Garmin GNS 430W navigators. The W is, of course, for WAS. The STEC 55X rate-based autopilot along with a Garmin Mode S transponder, Garmin GMA 340 audio panel, and built-in six-place oxygen system. It's a nice clean panel layout and design. We prefer the digital attitude-based S-Tech Magic 1500 model in the Piper Meridian, but the 55X is part of the cost savings on the Matrix, and the 55X is arguably appropriate to the mission of an unpressurized airplane. The Avidyne MFD brings with it an impressive number of standard features. E-Max engine monitoring, C-Max electronic instrument approach charts, and standard equipment MLB 700 data link receiver with WSI satellite weather and Sirius entertainment, along with Avidyne's two-way messaging capabilities. Options include traffic by Avidyne's impressive TAS 610 dual active traffic alerting system and the TWX-670. Tactical Weather Avoidance System, Avidyne's Enhanced Lightning Detection Utility. Pneumatic desync boots are also an option, one that every customer so far has ordered, as are speed brakes. An engine-driven air conditioner is also standard. Another not-so-obvious benefit of leaving out pressurization is that the air conditioning gets a major boost in power. It's the same system used in the Mirage, but it's far more efficient without having to drive pressurization. Turn on the switch, and the AC is almost automotive in nature. Even on a hot day in Florida, cold air comes pouring out in short order. If you're based in Arizona or Florida, you're almost guaranteed to love the Matrix AC system. Now let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Piper Malibu Matrix is powered by a Lycoming TIO 540AE2A turbocharged six-cylinder piston engine with a TBO of 2,000 hours, delivering 350 horsepower at 2,500 RPM. Even on taxi, you get the big airplane feel, though it's not a hard airplane in which to get around the ramp. With nose wheel steering and very powerful brakes, it's a pleasure to taxi. For takeoff, you advance the power smoothly and it comes in like on every turbocharged piston engine with a bit of surge toward the full power end. On the roll, the Matrix feels a lot more like a Meridian, big and powerful, than a little airplane. And when you rotate, just as in the turboprop, 
You need to do so gently to avoid over-controlling. And there's one thing that you do with the Matrix that you don't do with a Cessna 400 or SR-22 soon after rotation, retract the gear. The aircraft requires 2,090 feet or 637 meters of runway to take off at sea level on a standard day with a maximum net payload of 1,400 pounds or 635 kilograms. With full fuel, 120 gallons or 455 liters, you can put 680 pounds or 310 kilograms of passengers and bags in it. With 100 gallons or 380 liters, about five hours of endurance, you can pack around 800 pounds or 360 kilograms into it. If you engage the 55X and set the vertical speed hold mode, there's no indicated airspeed or filch mode, so the airspeed is around the recommended 125 knot cruise climb speed. With full power and at 35 GPH, you see a rate of climb per minute of around 1,300 feet or 400 meters. Not bad for a near max takeoff weight climb on a standard day. If you guessed it would be about as fast as the Cirrus and not as fast as the Cessna 400 on slightly more fuel burn, you're right on. At high speed cruise, 32 inches, 2,500 RPM and 21.5 GPH, you see about 190 knots at 12,000 feet and 202 knots at 16,000 feet. Piper claims the Matrix will do 215 knots true at its ceiling of 25,000 feet. We don't think that a lot of pilots will don the mass and fly that high, and Piper tends to agree. To increase range, a lot of pilots will operate the Matrix at less than high-speed cruise power settings. Normal cruise uses about 18 GPH and will, according to Piper's numbers, give you slightly better than 900 nautical miles or 1,667 kilometers of range at 17,500 feet on 100 gallons of fuel with a 45-minute reserve. At 12,000 feet, a non-oxygen altitude, you can look at around 880 nautical miles or 1,630 kilometers at that same normal cruise setting and fuel flow at right around 180 knots true. And if 21.5 GPH seems high, you can always come back on the power and save some fuel and gain some range without sacrificing too much speed. At 16,000 feet, for example, if you pull the power back to economy cruise, you'll see 175 knots true at just 15 GPH, a setting that will give you right around 1,000 nautical miles or 1,850 kilometers with reserves on 100 gallons of low lead. Here's another advantage that is an easy option for Piper to offer on the Matrix that would have been a very expensive development project for a clean sheet airplane. Flight into known icing capability. Now, Fiki is an option, $55,000, but Piper says that every dealer and retail customer so far has ordered it. The package provides boots on the wings and tail to go along with the prop and windshield heat, heated pateau, ice inspection lights, and more. On descent, you get another handful of big airplane advantages to the Matrix. For starters, you can get speed brakes as an option, which again, just about every customer has ordered. The blades give you about 20 knots of slowdown and can be deployed right up to VNE. The gear too is an excellent speed control device. The gear can be lowered and the first notch of flaps deployed at 165 knots, by which point getting slowed to approach speed is a given. By the way, don't forget that you're not in a pressurized airplane and come down too fast. Neither your ears nor your passengers will approve. And finally, the aircraft has a maximum range of 1,300 feet 43 nautical miles or 2,487 kilometers with a 45 minute reserve and a minimum landing distance of 1,970 feet or 600 meters. Now let's talk about the price and cost. The base purchase price for a new Piper Malibu Matrix is about $750,000 before options. But there are plenty of used models on the market that are sold between $400,000 and $600,000 and the charter price is estimated at $400 to $800, while the annual fixed cost is estimated at $60,000 to $90,000. The average hourly operating cost is estimated at $200 to $400. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.